Welcome back to the MGH United Road to Glory, guys. Now, obviously, you're used to seeing gameplay straight away. Unfortunately, um, the last three hours that I just spent recording, I had my mic on mute. So that's really good. So now I'm going to have to do a voiceover for the entire thing. But it's okay. We're going to rescue this. Hopefully, you guys understand these things happen. Basically, I updated my Windows. One of those stupid updates that reset all of my audio stuff. So my footage was ruined, basically. I had no voice, even though I'm there in the corner talking. So I'm going to have to put this on the footage and do a post commentary. Hopefully that's okay, guys. And actually, to start off with, I have something incredible to show you. This is something I've wanted for a long, long time. And a huge shout out to Wizard Mods. He makes all of my faces and he's put me in the game. Look how hideous it is. <laughs> the work is incredible, but this isn't. I'm in the game. I'm the actual manager. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely blown away. This is, it's just so weird to me. I've grown up on FIFA and now technically it's my main job. What? And I'm in the game? <laughs> Unbelievable. I love playing on PC. Mods are just incredible. So, um, guys, I am now in the game. It's a shame I couldn't do it before the series began, but it is what it is. How have I not scored there? I don't know. But, yeah, guys, I'm the manager now. You get to look at my beautiful face in-game, and uh, it's just totally cool. Totally awesome. I cannot believe it. Every time I see it, I'm amazed. Uh, and what a goal that is by Staunton. But I should say, the first few games in this kind of highlights reel... Uh, the face wasn't applied. I've just kind of pulled that footage to the start of the episode <clears throat> so I could show you guys. My voice is killing me. I've been talking all afternoon and my mic wasn't working. And this bit you're watching right now, this is my third attempt because, again, I've, this time I forgot to hit record. So can we get a round of applause? Absolutely failing today as a YouTuber. We just got a red card, by the way, and it's one all against Rochdale, I believe this was and we dropped points at home, so not a good result. And this is really weird to me because normally when I do these post-coms, I don't show my face, I just talk into the mic. So a bit weird being on camera at the same time, but I'll do my best. Um, that was Lacey, I believe, the Youth Academy player. He is now a central midfielder, so that is very exciting. We should be able to get him into the team in his right position as soon as he turns 16. Same with Sutton. Um, Funny enough, we're playing against Sutton here and we have a Youth Academy player called Sutton. We're 1-0 down. Um, I'm not quite sure how this has gone in. Every time I watch this, I think nylon has got to do better there. He's been beaten near post. He's six foot four. That goal made him look five foot two. <laughs> um, yeah, really disappointing to concede that. And we're trying to get back in here with Hartman through on goal, which is saved. And then Sutton break again. This time it's... A much easier goal, a much better finish, easier finish, not a better finish. It was an easier finish. Uh, just bad defending, though, really bad. But talking of bad defending, look at that from Sutton's defense. Just letting me have a go there. But it comes off the post. It just wasn't happening. Another chance before half time here. Joyce running through. Probably could have done more there looking at it. I wish the defender took me out. Maybe they would have got a red card or was would it have been a penalty? I can't quite remember if that was in the box or not. But 2-0 down into the second half. We needed a response and boy, did we get that. Another mistake from the Sutton defence. Let Hartman through again. And this time he squares it for the Kiwi King to get one goal back. And then bang, we're back in it. 2 all. This time it's Rolls-Royce Joyce with an absolutely incredible left-footed strike. And look what it means to him. The players celebrating inside each other. Oh my God, that sounds horrific. <laughs> um, yeah, just unbelievable game so far. 2-0 down to 2 all, And the momentum was with us. Surely, right? Well, you would think so. And then Sutton get the ball, got the other end and slam one into that far left corner. Gutting. But uh, it wasn't over yet. There's still time. We can try and get... That third goal and equalise once again. And Hartman is there with his right foot, which is crazy because he's, he's very left-footed. Scoring with his right for fun. Nice to see him back on the score sheet. 
And then we had a chance to win it in the dying moments of the game there with Staunton, which would have been unbelievable. He's already won us one game. No, that wasn't a win, though. Was, was that? No, he did against... Um, or am I thinking back to when I recorded this the first time? <laughs> the timeline is going a bit crazy. Um, we're, we're going into our next game now. We'll just move on. Crawley are rivals. I selected them as rivals just because they're the nearest club to me in League Two. Uh, but realistically, I think one of our rivals, well, when we get to the, the higher leagues, we'll pick one out. I think one of the London clubs, maybe like a West Ham rivalry or something, a Fulham would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, up against Crawley, we got slaughtered last time we played them. So I really wanted a bit of revenge and it just wasn't going my way. That's three chances we've had. Two of them with Staunton as well, who's a really good finisher, just could not score. Another chance coming in here. Joyce is through on goal. And what did I do here? Oh yeah, I cut, I cut back to try and shoot. It's saved. But then Staunton, he's just... I, I don't know. What is it with right-sided wingers that are left-footed in my road to glories? McKinley, Staunton. There's something about right-footed left wing, right, right wingers with left feet. We've got Legion as well. Jeff Legion from the Bournemouth road to glory all those years ago. It is strange, isn't it? But what a save that is from Nyland. Big, big save. And that is why we signed him. And actually, he's won us the game there. That save meant we held on to the clean sheet and guess what it's an away game and that means we are now officially five out of five for away clean sheets unbelievable I did not think we'd do it our defense has been shambolic uh, but we managed to get it and we move on into the next game against Colchester and I'm not going to be lying here guys the highlights I've put in this you'll see we do have a chance here but otherwise Colchester were absolutely brilliant all over us we have a shot there coming from Staunton which was well wide and then it's just blue dominating red another chance comes in there which was just wide Nyland was on top of his game in this one uh, another shot coming in which needed to be saved maybe looked a bit of a, a more heroic save than it needed to be uh, but finally they do score on the 30th minute there again Nyland beaten by his near post. Very disappointing. Right before the break, though, we had a chance to equalise. For some reason, Glover was my furthest forward player there. Completely just avoids running into the box to finish that cross. And that was half time. A real shame because we could have equalised against the run of play. We could have been back in this game when we really didn't deserve it. But here's Wheatley giving it to Cargill. Over to Staunton. The shot comes in and it is it's so close. I couldn't believe we were still technically in this game. It was just one goal. Really didn't deserve it. Another shot comes in and another one. And their keeper was having a very good second half. We were definitely there or thereabouts in the second half. It was a lot better. Uh, this was offside this moment. But have a look at this save from Nyland. Oh, did I cut it out? Damn it, Matt. Why did I cut that out? It was an incredible save. You can rewind and have a look. It was incredible. I think there's another one coming up, though, like that, which is why I got confused. But... Into the next one, we have Barrow. They're a good side. In fact, they're top of the league. And this is when <laughs> when I went back to look at the edit. I couldn't believe I didn't have my voice recording because this game was so important. But uh, here I was going into the replays to have a look at my manager. This was the first game I had where it was applied. And look at this. There I am in the MGH United cap. I need to get one of those. I'm on the side of the pitch in game. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Great cross coming in from Staunton. Somehow Rolls-Royce Joyce puts it away too far to the corner. Look at this. Oh, man, if he scores that, what an unbelievable start to the game that would have been. And to be fair, we've been all right against the top sides. It seems like when we drop points, it's against teams in and around mid-table or even below us. Really quite odd. Another big save from Nyland there. And then uh, a chance coming in from the Kiwi King. Good save once again from their keeper. It was a really good game. It was tight. I don't think either team really deserved to lose. So at this point, it was, I think, defend. And if we get any chances to attack, then we should. And that's exactly what was happening. We were absorbing a lot of their pressure and then just hitting them on the break. And there I am in the game again. It looks so weird to me. Oh, but this moment, I wish you could hear how mental I was going. 
So I had just made substitutions and it was before a corner. And I said, right, I'm going to put Cook on. Six foot six. Wouldn't it be incredible if he scored a header, his first touch of the game? And then what happens? <laughs> that happens. Unbelievable. Good save from Nyland there to keep us in the game. We're 1-0 up going into injury time. And they took their sweet time. Unbelievable from Barrow to not get the ball forward there. And we've beaten top of the table. I mean... It is weird, isn't it? I, I remember saying this in the Roma and the Arsenal career mode. I always seem to do better against the top, the top teams. It, it's strange. And looking at the table here, it's unbelievable. The fact that we're actually near the playoffs. And I've been seeing your comments. People saying, we believe in MJH United. Genuinely, if you keep winning, you will make it into the playoffs. And that has to be the target now. We're really not far off. If we were to win our next three out of five games will probably be sixth, seventh, eighth. It's unbelievable. We shouldn't be here considering how bad we were, but everything seemed to kind of click around Christmas, around January. A couple of players that have grown slightly more. It's just a much better team. But of course, the tactics change I made has been the real catalyst to this just upwards trend of winning games and being harder to beat. We are still the worst defensive team we've still conceded the most goals but we've also scored the joint most goals in the league as well so yeah we're a real mixed bag some games we're still going to get wrecked some games we're going to be fine uh, we met we went into this game against Salford again just really wanting to get the three points to push as hard as we can into the uh, the top seven into the playoff zone I, I would love 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 to be in the playoffs we won't get further than that. We won't get into the automatic spots. But the playoffs are genuinely a possibility. So if you're watching this thinking it's been an awful season, there's just embarrassment every game. At this point, it wasn't too bad. We're doing all right. OK, we'll see what happens in the future. Um, we've got a red card with Wheatley here. A very late challenge. The penalty is taken and scored. 1-0 down and down to 10 men in a game where a win could really, really help us get that promotional, not promotional, uh, playoff spot, which is what we were looking to do. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get uh, an equaliser in the dying moments, which is a real shame, but not uncommon. When you go down to 10 men on FIFA, you suddenly suck. If the opposition goes down to 10 men, it's really difficult to beat them. But uh, I had a few comments recently, a lot of people suggesting that I take a look at Patino. Unfortunately, he's unwilling to relocate at this point, but he had four months remaining on his contract. So we might find him in the free agents next season. So let me know in the comments down below if he's in there, I should sign him, right? But if I sign him, what happens to Lacey? He's basically Patino, center mid, left footed. Do I play Patino as a cam? But then what about Garbit? Does Lacey become a cam back up to Garbit? I don't know at this point. But we went into our next game with three massive players missing. Um, Wheatley suspended. Huggins playing with his international team. And we had uh, Garbit play for New Zealand. So three key players missing against Harrogate Town, who are in seventh, I believe, at this point. So one of our rivals, genuinely. And we got off to a really poor start, as usual. Just conceding easy chances. Luckily, Nyland was there to save a very tame shot twice in a row there. Um, vital that we win this game. This, this is a six-pointer. If I beat them, I close the gap down. And we had a great opportunity to score just before, before the 30th minute, which we took. Hartman with his left foot. Corner coming in. And he almost doubled his goal tally in this game. And there's me again in my Adidas gear looking awesome. I actually kind of want that top in real life. It's a real top. It's a real jacket that you can buy. It's in Volta. And that's how I've modded it into the game. You can take things from Volta and put them into career mode. But uh, I'm pretty sure Volta use licensing for real items. So maybe I'll have to look and see if I can get one before it gets warm. Before it's summer. Before half time here. Look how many minutes added on we played. Um, we could have probably been one or two goals ahead uh, more than 1-0, so maybe a 2-0 or 3-0, but it wasn't to be. Second half starts, really good play from the goalkeeper there, Nyland. 
and then just watch this build up play. Nisbet into Glover, plays it forward to Hartman and the defender wasn't interested clearly. It's saved and then the rebound falls for Glover and he makes it 2-0. Absolutely huge moment in the game because if I don't score that goal, who knows, maybe they score. It's one all and we start to potentially drop points. And this is the bit I was talking about earlier. Look at this save from Nyland. This is world class. 4,000 a week. 4,000 pounds a week for that. Unbelievable save. And now into the final 20 minutes, a chance to make it 3-0. And we took it. <laughs> we got lucky in this game. 3-0 is very flattering. We didn't play like a 3-0 win should be, if that makes sense. And here is me doing my first press conference with the face applied. It is weird. Like, look at me and then look at that. It's, it's really good. He's done a great job. It's just weird looking at myself in the game. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to get used to that. Uh, next game was against second place in the league, Forest Green, and they had Matt up front. It's a great name. Most players called Matt are very dangerous. <laughs> Matt Garbit, of course. But um, yeah, Forest Green being in second place, I knew this would be a tough game. They hit the post there. They had the better chances in this first half. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't mean anything if you don't put the chances away. There's another one that they've missed. And I knew because of those missed chances that maybe the FIFA gods were watching. Maybe I had a chance to nick three points here. Staunton running away from the defenders as they're dragged away by a run from Garbit. The pass comes into Hartman and he slams it in off the post. I just, it was such a great goal because all the space that Staunton had is because of other runs being made. And he was able just to run through. And of course, as soon as he got through, he was the provider. But uh, yeah, it didn't last long. And it's worth reminding you, we signed Cargill from Forest Green. And of course, we offered Williams as part of the deal. It was his pass that put those guys through for their equaliser. Unfortunate. But we could have won it at the end. Big save from the keeper. And that was the end of that game. So let's take a look at the league table in just a second. First, we did have an approach for Abbott, the, uh, the defender that's lost, I think, six ratings. Uh, so he will be going. And look at this. Mind blown. We're on 59 points. 15 wins, 14 draws, 12 losses. That's 26 games we haven't won, yet we're still in the playoffs. Unbelievable. And pff, talking of unbelievable, what a strike. Although, from this angle, you'll see the keepers had an, an absolute nightmare there. Should really be saving that. But 1-0 against Leighton Orient. And again, another win here would be superb. Trying to get that second goal now. Here's Cook. I mean, this is a weird one. I think we should have VAR check this. This is very close. Yeah, I, I, I think the linesman's probably not best place for that one. I think VAR would have been needed. 1-0 um, up, trying to get the second goal. We finally get it in the second half. And guess who? Hartman again. Him and Garbit both have 16 goals, I think it is, at this point. So who's going to be top scorer? Leave your prediction down below. Let me know. Had another chance to score with Hartman there. <laughs> which, um, yeah, didn't quite go to plan. But at 2-0, it doesn't matter. Last chance of the game, headed over. And that was that. That's um, three hours of gameplay I just had to edit down and talk over that I'd already talked over. <laughs> so dumb, isn't it? We get an offer for Underwood as well, by the way. He will be sold. Not a player I'm planning on using. And, um, oh, it's 17 goals for Hartman and Garbit. There you go. And sixth place. It's unbelievable. It's very unlikely we're going to get into the automatic promotion spots, but we will be in the playoffs if we keep going the way we are. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this episode is shorter and isn't the normal episode with me playing and talking, but these things happen and I'll make sure tomorrow's episode doesn't have this issue.